welcome back to the episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by the amazing team here, Solar Wolf Energy. And today we're gonna to be talking about the presidential push from Biden to basically make up to 40% of the United States run on solar by 2040, 2050. I'm getting conflicting numbers here from the media here, but either way, it's pretty aggressive considering we've got about at max 29 years to do this. And considering that we're only about two or 3% solar penetration right now, um, that is aggressive. On top of this, we have also now added that we're not gonna be taking any panels from China whatsoever, any cells or anything, because they're using child and slave labor, which I agree with on that behalf. However, the problem is twofold because the largest plate, the largest concentration of solar panels come from the country we're no longer getting them from, which means we're gonna have to start opening up solar manufacturing facilities here in the States pretty quickly. We're seeing what's happening with the chip shortage right now. And we're also getting reports of like companies like Apple and Google and all these other companies are now going to start making their own chips, which I like. However, it is also a very widely known fact that for the chip manufacturing side of this, like we're talking about here, it requires from conception of putting the shovel on the ground to the up and running of chips coming down the assembly line, it takes 24 months for that to happen. Now, if very, very, very well companies like NVIDIA and Intel aren't able to do this in less than 24 months, no one else is gonna be able to either. Which brings us back to the components for solar, not just panels, right? But you also have the inversion, which also requires chips. So you have a chip constraint. You have a, a we, we've lost the ability to get it from our largest manufacturing facilities. And um, we have this huge goal. So I'm a fan. I need, to, I need to go ahead and stress that I, I think most of us will be, right? Because clean energy for our kids and grandkids, it's great. However, it almost seems like we're asking for the impossible here. And I'm, I'm hopeful we can get it done, but I'd like to see some kind of funding or government program where we do exploratory funding or anything, or some kind of grants where we're, we're basically putting that money towards opening up new facilities to create solar cell manufacturing facilities and just uh, assembly plants. So a report came out from First Solar that uh, from regarding First Solar, American made uh, solar cells here in the United States, uh, great company, publicly traded, check them out, decent balance sheet, but companies like that and SunPower and a couple others, they're gonna have to basically quadruple, if not even more than that, their capacity to manufacture solar. Um, all that said, this is expensive too, folks. Super, super expensive. Not just the labor side, the tech, the infrastructure to do this, but also the ability to create solar cells in the polysilicon. Poly yeah, excuse me. Um, these are obviously uh, hazardous materials, which also pushes the price up for manufacturing, handling, and whatnot. So all of these concerns are huge. They all need to be addressed in like yesterday. So. All that said, I'd like to actually hear from you folks. What do you think? Do you think this is possible by 2040, 2050? We're at almost nearly half solar penetration in this country, powering facilities, not just homes, because the average home doesn't use a lot of power on an annual scale. It's manufacturing plants, it's steel mills. These places use an enormous amount of electricity. And that being said, in order for us to power those two, we are talking about tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of solar panels being produced really quickly. So I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you like what we're doing here at Uncentered Solar TV, please drop a, a like and uh, hit, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to hear from more of you guys and we love the input and feedback. Thanks for watching the episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by these guys here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thank you. Have a great day.